I am smart. I am curious. I am kind. I am a scientist. At Primrose Schools, we believe that who children become is as important as what they know. That's why our exclusive balanced learning approach combines purposeful play with nurturing guidance to help your child develop curiosity, creativity, compassion, and confidence. I'm awesome! See how balanced learning, including STEAM integration, can empower your child. Visit primroseschools.com. Blog Talk Radio. This is what the show is. You're listening to Samuel Brock Flynn's show, and we are on air and live. Hello, I am Samuel Flynn here, and I should have a friend calling any minute. Uh, not not sure when, but um, but I should have some friends come coming in on the show. Uh, all right. At 619-393-6781. Again, that is 619-393-6781. Be a commentator today. All right. Who who do we have on air? Hello, Samuel. This is uh, Eric Zuli. I'm fine. I am doing all right. And you? Good. You asked me to call into your show, so I did. Yep. Um I see you got um I have a question for you. What what is the purpose of Easy Way 2 and and how is what, what you know what are you trying to do with it in the backs of uh of entertainment industry? Yeah, well let me start by saying hello to all the listeners that are listening to us. Nice to meet everybody. Um to answer your question, Easy Way 2 is a website it's a platform that allows others to create channels just like YouTube uh, with their own brand and self-promote themselves as well as get promoted to a quality audience. And you can load photos and videos as well as copy your YouTube videos over to your easy way tube and get double double the views get the views on easy way tube as well as youtube and we have about 120 channels right now wow that's really cool um i like the, i uh i even used easy way tube myself but i really i really didn't know how to use it all that well and um can i give you some criticism it kind of needs to be a little bit more user friendly than what it is now. So, and I think we got another. Well, I, per- I appreciate your opinion, but 120 other channels don't seem to have a problem with it. Right, but I'm just saying. So, uh, who we got on what, air? What are you talking about? What What is it that needs to be more user friendly? Uh, it, meaning be like being um, like the upload features, is what I mean. So, well, it it, it the up- all it takes is pressing the the upload button and loading the uh, content. Sometimes correctly. it doesn't work on my. Sometimes it doesn't work on my iPhone, and sometimes it doesn't work on Android. But um, I usually have to go back in and hey, you know do we something. Do a, uh, can we do like an on-air three-way? Yeah, that's what you're doing now. Are you and who am I speaking with? This is Samuel. Why well, I know who I'm Eric. speaking with. Eric? Yeah, this yeah. is Eric. How are you? Hey, what's going on, brother? Weston, how are you so doing, man? To, Thanks for asking. So you're trying to figure out what to do on YouTube or what? No, we were discussing a platform that I own that is similar to YouTube. Hey, you, you just run the show, and you can commentate any time, but I was asking Eric a question. Yeah, I answered your question. 
Oh, my goodness gravy. That was me answering your question. Yeah. That's what I was meaning by three ways. <laughs> Is yeah. You, you can yeah. Hey, it's okay. Hear. We're on... Hey, we're on Walk live air. Yeah. Yeah. Um, discuss cool. what's, Where what's are going you on from? with you, Brad. Huh? Discuss what you've got going on. I see you got a magazine there. That's your, and I also... And, uh, um, I'm also a promoter, and I also have to take my mother to the doctor, and then I got to go to Milwaukee. Oh, what you doing in Milwaukee, if you don't mind me asking? Well, no, absolutely not. Um, I have, I just so happened to shoot up um, Josh Russell of Hands On on the stage. Yeah. At the Renegade Leopard Lounge stage. And, you know, I promote a lot of bands. I promote man, hey, you know what? I could send you a sticker, and it would be like, I have no idea what I'm doing. (laughs) But anyways, what was your question about YouTube? Um, Hey, Samuel. I came on on to support you, man, but uh, uh, I got to go soon. So if you have any specific questions, let's take take care of whatever you Um, want to do. I was uh, gonna discuss no, about Easy Way that. Mobile. Do what? I was gonna discuss Easy Way Mobile. Easy Way Mobile is a application that people can download that helps them get closer to their success and promote their projects. Uh, letter E, letter Z, W A Y Mobile. dot com, and they can download it on Apple or the Apple Store, or the uh, the Android, the Google Play Store. And it right. is Don't you have a easy way access? application. Don't yeah, you well, easy way access you, is a, is, um, is a different platform. It's it's kind of like a like a like a face, Facebook right, in a way. Right. It's a social network that people can link up together. We we kind of have our own little movement with the easy way. A lot of a lot of different uh, you know people that um, are kind of like family that are quality people that you know everybody can kind of network together. Right. Even myself uh, is on there. So. Yeah, Jeff, yeah, man. You're Jeff, on. he's away broadcasting. Uh, Al, he's an awesome, man. he's an awesome dude. I mean, he knows his stuff. I mean, literally, Easy Way is a, you know, to me, it mind blow. It's mind blowing what he does. You know, um, to be honest. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, and and hey, you you do a good job at promoting uh, people, anybody. You've got a lot of followers, so. And, uh, that's Thank you. What, yeah, uh, I love all 181,000 of my followers on Twitter and and everybody else on LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram. Everybody that supported us from from day one, they they we 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 call our our followers fam, not not fans. And uh, if anybody wants to right. know anything more about me, they can go to e r i c z u l e y dot com and uh you'll see some some articles that have said I'm one of the top ten people in the world for social media influence. And so you've been a good right. supporter for a long time, Samuel, so I wanted to come on your show and support you. Well thank you. And I appreciate that man. Um I actually enjoy your stuff. Your stuff is you've got the tops on, you know, easy way access, uh and the and lazy way too. I really to me, I really do not know how to <laughs> do what you guys are doing i mean it actually yeah i've tried it myself and i'm like this is all the code and you know <laughs> and uh mentioned about code and computer work i actually happened to have uh went took a computer science 101 a course of study um then i have my accomplishment certificate through stanford university so um for that stuff so 
you know, it, it's been, you know, it's, it's really hard than what you think, you know, um, about that stuff, but, you know, knowledge is never wasted. So. Yeah. So, yeah coding that. can be, coding can be difficult and we, we build websites, we build apps and we do the, a lot of things when it comes to the internet and, uh, we have platforms and our, our success is other people's success. So the more, more success people have by doing it the easy way, the more we have and we grow and we try to get everybody that we deal with to give back as they're doing it. And uh, it's a fun movement. Right. It's a fun movement. It's growing, it's growing. And, and, and there's, there's really awesome people that are supporting us. And Hey, if you're looking for advice um, for advertising and, uh, and trying to get out there, Eric Zuli has it. Um, let me tell you, he's he's got the con, uh, contacts and the connections and the follower base and you know and the friend base as well. So you know he he's got everything. So no, thank you, Sammy. I appreciate that. If, if people go to my website, they'll they'll see we're blessed to have people like the creator of the Make a Wish Foundation and the co-founder of e-entertainment television and, and real quality, quality people that are, that are endorsing us and, and uh, you know, are, are behind what we're, what we're doing. And uh, I do interviews just like you. I, I have a radio show that, uh, that uh, I actually have, I actually have uh, the, in fact, if anybody from your show wants to listen to my show, the Saturday at one o'clock PM Pacific standard time, I have the uh, previous senior producer for the Oprah Winfrey show coming on us. So that's my guest. Cool. Four time Emmy. I'll try to listen into producer. that and I usually promote if I could, um, you know, and I know, I know what you mean there. So, um, yeah, but, uh, I appreciate yeah, your support, man. I like your, I like your stuff too. You do a great job. I mean, um, I mean, I'd hope to work, maybe work for you someday. Maybe. Well, you've so, you've been a good supporter no. for a long time, and and uh, you know anybody can bring anything to our table and and introduce us to any situations, and you know our, our business is online branding. You know we put people out there in a in a in a different way. We have different strategies, and and our relationship equity is 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 uh, substantial. And so um, right. we we've been supporting each other for a little bit, and and uh, you know keep doing what you're doing. You know. The, the the what what right. what I did to 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 build what we have now today is I supported other people and I networked and I worked my butt off a lot and uh, yeah. it, it eventually you know people see that you're real and you try I mean and and do it for the right reasons you know do what you're doing but but get others to give back you give back you know and people will appreciate that and and yeah. you just keep doing what you're doing and and get more and more you know, high quality names that that come on your show and, and, uh, and eventually it'll build, you'll keep building your audience and, and, uh, maybe give, give a little, a little of those advertising dollars to charity and, and you're going to do, do great. Right. right. I, um, actually am going to, uh, promote, uh, easy way promotions right now. It's easy way And, uh, is it easy way com? Is that what it is you're, you have? Well, Easy Way Cares is 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 a uh, extension arm for a lot of different charities that we work with. We work with the Charitable Giving Foundation, American Cancer Society, Relay for Life, and a lot of other charities that are amazing. You know, homeless charities and veteran charities and and uh, sex trafficking type stuff. And and we we get oh, the influences that we deal with to 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 give back. Hey, can I give you a fact? Did you know the San Francisco Bay Area was actually huge for hum- human trafficking right now? Actually, it is the most targeted area of of human, wow, where human trafficking takes place. Is that? Well, yeah, I, le- I learned that through Stanford. I actually have a certification through that right now. Mm. Um, you know, and uh, I took some college course on two human trafficking courses, uh, one for the general public and the one for the restaurant industry. Apparently, human trafficking can happen in a restaurant. But uh, and uh, and hey, I didn't know that either. But until I, you know, learned it and took tests and quizzes and stuff, and um, you know, at least I learned something. You know, 
and gain mm-hmm. knowledge. Mm-hmm. Knowledge is the knowledge is the knowledge thing is power. anymore. It's it's the so it, it gives you power, you know, too. So and um yeah yeah you know, human trafficking is really big, it, and I think some you know it it it's all over the place. So. Yeah, as I remember, yeah, it's, it's all over the place. It's unfortunate that we have sickos out out there that uh, that kidnap, you know, people and do what they do what they do. And uh, you know, we try to help on an awareness perspective for the internet and and uh, get more people to get involved to support stopping it. Yeah, I actually did a national human trafficking uh, awareness type video um, not too long ago, and I know you probably saw that. But I can give you the number it is uh, for the National Human Trafficking tip line, one triple eight three seven three seven eight triple eight seven no three seven three seven triple um, well triple eight and another eight so at the end if that make if I'm trying to make it easier. <laughs> And trying to put it in an easy way, but yeah, that that's the hotline to uh, get a hold of the um, the National Human Trafficking Resource Center. So and that's how you can report it as well. So you there? Mm-hmm. I'm letting you do your All thing, right. man. That's great information. Yep. Like I said, college can help you in so many ways. That's that it's un, unimaginable, you know. Um, you know, it, it's it's a great thing. I, you know, I think I, at first I thought mm, I really don't want to go to college and do all that other stuff, but you know, actually, I do. Actually, Stanford helped me to, you know, online, it had made me and convinced me to go to college, and and I do because you learn stuff, you know that you don't know most, you know, you learn new things. So, and everybody learns a little yeah, bit. Yeah, college is really important. Day. I went to college and took marketing communications. It, it's, it helped, helped a lot. I, I actually didn't graduate. I didn't feel that I, I needed to. I learned what I needed to learn, and I, I, I built my empire and, and learned a lot of sales and uh, not condoning or telling anybody that they shouldn't graduate, but I personally didn't and, and uh, decided to be an entrepreneur and build my own business. Well, that's, that's cool. And Hey, you did success. There's a lot of people without degrees that's able to do a lot of success. You know, I heard that some kid had sold an app to Yahoo for 13 million or trillion dollars or something like that. And, uh, yeah, we're we're involved with know, a product right now that, that is the same uh, product that the people that developed the iPhone six, seven. I'm sorry, the f- iPhone four, five, six, and seven um, developed this product. It's called Helo, and it's a health uh, wristband that you put on that allows you to monitor your your heartbeat, your EKG, your breath pattern, your sleeping. Uh, in the th- fourth quarter, it'll it'll measure blood sugar level. Uh, alcohol level, it'll repel mosquitoes. Uh, you can measure your, you know, know what's going on with your loved ones. You get notified if your loved ones have anything to do with, you know, with health that you need to know about. Uh, I mean, it's it's just the most incredible thing ever, and and uh, technology is 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 pretty amazing. If anybody's interested in that, you can go yeah. to easywaybroadcasting.com forward slash helo. Yeah, you it's advancing and it, it advances each day if you think about it. Um, you yeah. know, it's it's getting, you know, it's getting way over my head too. Some of the stuff I see, you know, so. Mm-hmm. Um, so how's your how's your show doing, man? Uh, you know, you, you you should promote yourself a little bit. How's your show doing? How many numbers you got? And and what's your your next guest coming on? And and uh, Sam or Brock Brock well, Flynn show. Ever- yeah, ever since I had um, hurt my leg, and, and a few things went wrong with my education, took a little wrong turn there, and um, was going to get a GED originally. And uh, I, you know, I had I had a few people, um, I had a few things going on. I had to wait till I was better originally, and um, I started getting better really the first part of this year and uh then i um 
had to do the GED stuff. And then what to and then what on top of stuff I had the flu for a while. Oh, sorry to hear that. And um and it lasted for weeks. And then after that I got better and then um was by the time ready to take my G E D. Well I get a call one night when my school was wanting me back and so I went back and finished my school re- years. So I was discouraged because I had a lot on top of my plate on my plate and so I had um I had dropped out originally. So Oh, okay. Does that make so does that make sense? I mean that uh that's what my life's been like, so and um Yeah, so uh, so did no. you have any other questions? I, I, I do I, I I'm I gotta get kind of early night's sleep. It's ten, it's almost eleven o'clock. I got an early meeting tomorrow morning. All right. Uh, no, not at the moment, but uh, you take care, uh, man, and um, and uh, hopefully that meeting goes well. So. Thank you. I appreciate. It. Hey, so thank you to all the Simon Brooklyn fans that are that are listening. I, I appreciate uh, everybody, and and uh, you know if you want to uh, follow me, just E R I C Z U L Z U L E Y uh, or Easy Way. Uh, hashtag Easy Way is what we do, and and you can text Easy Way letter E letter Z W A Y no spaces to the number two, one, triple seven. Um, and I appreciate, uh, Sam, for letting me, uh, promote myself a little bit and having a little conversation and, uh, appreciate your support and what you, uh, what you've been doing for the easy way for quite some time. And, you know, we, we appreciate your show and I appreciate all your fans and, and listeners. So thanks. Thanks everybody. Have a great night and, uh, shout out to the Sammy Brock show. Yep. And thank you guys. And, uh, you guys take care out there. I've got another caller here. I'll uh, let him speak. You take care, Eric. All right, you too. Bye-bye, Sam. All right. Hello, Brad. Are you there? Yeah. Sorry. we. Uh, it was echoing on your side and a bunch of background noise. That's kind of why I did that. So I thought, well. Are we I mean, on there right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well. Who are we speaking with? Just me. Just me, Samuel. I thought you said... Just me as the radio host. Hello, this is the Samuel Brock Glenn Show. Hey there, I was just called. I, I'm listening to figure the theme. I, I just called about 10 seconds ago. So I'll continue listening. All right, who who is this? Hotep, H O T E P. Who? Um, Hotep, H O T E P. I just found you on Blog Talk. I didn't see a theme, so I thought I would just listen in and. You know, see what you all were talking uh, about. So, hey, it's all gravy. Oh, um, yeah, it's been is it's been a great my night good here. Friend. And this is Brad. I'm Samuel yeah, Brock Glenn, and, and we're on. broadcasting live. Okay. Yep. 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 How, how was your night, sir? Um, Four yeah. eight eight zero. With the last it's number okay. four eight eight zero. Oh, well that's good. Um, well I'm glad you was listening. Uh, you can check out Eric Zuli and uh, my show out at SamuelBrockFlynnShow dot com. So you could also check out. Don't um, check out Eric Zuli because he is just a fake. What's the um, how, general theme of the shows? Is it education, political, religious, or financial, or entertainment? I'm not sure. Yeah, well, where well how how from, is it how sir? is it categorized? Where are you from, sir? If I may, New York. Ask, but I'm trying to. New York. Theme. Yeah. 
Samuel, help me out. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I I really. How did you get you? You came across us, right? On Blog Talk. There's, yeah, oh. uh, or you may be eclectic. I'm not sure. A what now? Well, eclectic, diverse. Oh, oh you hacking, Samuel. Do what now? Now, I I don't know exactly about that uh, because I'm in the pan well, control panel. How I can I be know. hacking if I'm not? So, so, sir, um, what's your name? Hotep. Huh? Hotep, H-O-T-E-P. Hotep, yes. Yes, I, I heard what you said. Um, How... Uh, I've been talking about entertainment stuff, just anything. It's just talk in the AM hours. It's like any other radio station, like Coast to Coast or something like that, AM. Um, Really, it's just if you want to be a guest or commentator, you know, and talk about anything, bring up topics. Heck, I don't care if you're religious, you know. You know, as long as you don't try to take over my show, I'm fine. So... I found on your website, I see some of the talk, um, celebrities, celeb news, government, computer talk, aliens, et cetera. So I'm guessing that yes, may be the core. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We talk about that. I actually have seen a UFO before. So, you know, um, just as long as you're one, not one of the men in black, I'm fine with talking to you. Uh, it's just, I, uh, just wanted to know what, you know, there's some new technology that I must not be aware of that must, that might be developed, might be being developed by the military or government. So, um, obviously we're going in, in advance as a technology because look at the drones and, you know, and how fast we've advanced in those. I mean, there's anywhere from big to medium to small to large to extra large on the drones and things you can actually fly now. So with the, you can actually fly a drone if it's home built or meaning um, if you built it on your own, you know, so. Yeah. Can I tell you what my thinking is about drones, the governments and similar themes? Yes. Yes, I think that payers pay to fund the private enterprises of the ultra-rich who develop uh, in-secret technologies that they use for two purposes. One is to spy on the average person so that yes. average people do not develop intellectually nor develop collectively. And the second is for profit. Our tax funds are used to help to develop technologies that enrich the already rich and it seems as though this cycle of economic slash political slash propaganda mind control has been going on from before Rome. The only difference is now we have modern cell phones and computer internet, and back then they didn't. I don't know if the general public will ever wake up because most of the leaders that are put in place for the public actually work with the very ultra-rich that enslave us in, or put us as serfs in the first place. That's kind of my thinking on right. what's going on with politics and technology. Don't listen to that stupid timer. I'm telling you, um, it's uh, it's very disruptive if you ask me. Um, I just want to let you know. Yes, it, I think there is technology being built in secret, and all of that. Um, there is a. Have you read the Bible? I've read it. Revel- yes, as a the, child. Okay, Revelations in the chapter 13 area, um, um, they have actually said something like uh, everybody will be taking the mark, you know, where everybody can't buy or sell without the mark, you know, in the right hand or forehead. You know, I think it's about coming to that point. What do you think? 
I think that utilization of the Bible um, does lead to a slippery slope because there are so many versions of the Bible unless we're referencing the ancient uh, scriptures, the Pentateuch, and even the Pentateuch did not always have a very logical foundation nor a very meritorious one when it comes to linguistics, history, archaeology, anthropology. So it's very hard to have a a conversation about um, life and logic and science if we're going to reference a holy book because holy books are based on mythology and cosmology with a bit of facts mixed in. Many of hey, the ancient writers, you know? we don't even know who they were. Yeah, the the Bible has actually been messed with so you know so much that it's actually cost a you know it's actually cost them people where they don't want to believe because it's been messed with and people are afraid of it's it's like a trust issue more likely a trust and you know and hard to believe type issue you know because you know you don't want to believe something that's been messed with because somebody can, you know because for one, you could put something not true that's in the Bible, you know, and and you could be considered a, a gullible person and be a gullible person for years, you know. So, and and a lot of people don't want to be gullible. They want to be smart. They want to be, uh, you know, know the truth. Uh, there's a lot of things people, you know, even the X-Files, heck, even the X-Files wants to know the truth about all sorts of stuff that's in the, um, not just UFOs, but technology about, you know, uh, implementing chips in the people and use them as a new way of identification and money and and marketing and goods and services. I mean, you, I mean, to be honest with you, you know, um, I even have a debit card that's got a chip in it, and a lot of people wonder if that's Mark of the Beast. No, it specifically says in the forehead or in the hand. They don't really mean like on a card or anything. Uh, you heard of the paradox of free will? Um, no, I have not. Okay. Um, the paradox of free will is based on the logical fallacy that a perfect God cannot possibly uh, create imperfection. Therefore, the notion of my Abrahamic family friends, uh, especially my Christian and and, um, Muslim friends, Judaism is somewhat uh, different in this because they don't believe in the world. The paradox of free will indicates that it's impossible for perfection to create imperfection. That itself is a paradox. So right at the core the belief system that thinks that a perfect deity, which people call a god, god is a pagan word, by the way, it comes from G-A-U-D, which comes from Gudan, G-U-D-A-N, a proto-Germanic pagan um, deity. Um, a perfect god could not create the devil because that itself mm-hmm. is a paradox. So right at the Let core, from here. there, God did go, not mean, yeah. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, God did not mean to per- create a devil. Actually, he actually made um, uh, Lucifer as an angel until the until Lucifer turned bad up in heaven. That's how he got thrown out. Was he had turned bad and no. got jealous, and, wasn't it? Let me uh, rephrase this. Okay, what's your view? Lucifer is what they call the devil was God's archangel. And he wanted so much power, he wanted to overthrow God himself. And yeah, so... jealousy be, uh, be similar? So, he did feel envy and jealous of God, though. That, that's one thing, though. That's actually two things that he felt against our, you know, our Lord and Savior. The thing is, okay, he actually, well, he well actually God himself. Grown. Okay, if you believe in the Bible, okay, God himself 
threw Lucifer out of heaven and made him the devil and seven archangels. Right. All right. And, he, and, right. And, and am I right? He took one, he kicked out one third of the angels, you know, out of heaven. Am I right? Well, I don't know that. Do you? <laughs> I mean, that's what the book says. That's what the Bible says. But do I know that? No. Do you know that? Heck no. Yeah, because they rebelled against, um, you know, it's now I am looking up. Did one third of the angels fall with Lucifer? Um, while there's yes. no verse that says a third of the angels fell from heaven, some verses, you know, um, what they're saying is Satan rebelled well, and was cast out of heaven. And you have fallen from heaven. Oh, morning star, son of the dawn, you have been cast down to the earth. Um, and it also you, says um, in the Bible, excuse me. It also says in the Bible, for you have forsaken me, and I will cast you out of heaven, and I will make you the ruler of the earth. Hey, gentlemen, may I say I appreciate this opportunity to have this uh, dialectic with you both. And I wondered if any of you had researched the etymology of the word. Well, you know what? You're very appreciative. And Samuel is the one, you know, that is running this show. Okay. But, you know, yeah. you know, every everybody has an opinion. Okay. Right. And one one thing about one opinion is like everybody has an asshole, right? Yes. Right. Brother, that is that that's actually the appeal it's called an appeal to ignorance. It it, it doesn't answer my question. Lucifer, if you trace the etymology, it simply meant light bearer. When people use terms today, very often what happened during various schisms. Hey, look at Hebrews twelve twenty two. Can I, uh, can I? Let me just, if you don't mind, um, during schisms there were different um, belief systems that changed, and so if you go from the Catholic to the Jehovah's Witness to the Protestant Reformation, different groups of uh, Christians. Uh, I'm no, not. I didn't say you are. No, I'm saying. And- nor am I anything, but you know what I am? I believe in life itself. Right. Well, I'm going, we're about out of time, so I'm going to tell everybody thank you. Have a nice night. I am, um, <laughs> unfortunately, we are out of time and out of air time, uh, so we have. Uh, gotten into hey, I love you. Hey, and so, we love you for uh, tuning in to the radio station. You yeah, know, thank you yes, for having we me. appreciate you as a listener. We appreciate you as a fan as well. So please keep updates, subscribe, go to text S-E-Z-S-B-F to 313131. And that is a um, code. You can keep up updates by, you know, texting uh, E-Z. Uh, SBF to three one three one three one, and if you want, and, to, and may I say one more thing before he goes? Yes. Yeah. Look, you, my grandfather told me. The only thing you do not get into a conversation is politics, religion, and that's it. Yep, because it's very controversial, like it just kind of got a while ago, you know. 
So now, how did you? Hey, and hey, I've had times where people can just have at it on my show. So, but anyways, I'm sorry, but I've got to go because the the time is almost out. So, you guys take care. And I this is the same yeah, Brooklyn show on air. All right. Goodbye, everybody. You're listening to Samuel Brock Flynn's show, and we are on air. When I grow up, I want to make a pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni at the nation's best price. Six dollars. It's going to be the best pizza ever. Sorry, kid. It's been done. Introducing the new Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizza, a large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni at the nation's best price. But my mom said... Shh. This much cheese and pepperoni is what dreams are made of. Come get a large, hot and ready, extra most bestest pizza for just six bucks, only at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. At participating locations plus tax.